We've been here at the beginning of the Camping and Caravanning Club ownership and at the end of it as well. So we came here in 1998 and here we are in... 2008. <laughs> 2008? Yes, not 1998. Was it? I thought it was 1998. No. 2008 and here we are in 2022. About the last to leave, I think, aren't we? Yeah, this is quite late Some for us leaving. Isn't it? Half, half eleven. 11. Yeah. Got to leave by twelve. Yeah. Yeah. We um, had a lovely. Oh, someone. Yeah. All oh, right, sorry. Yeah, no, we had a lovely uh, few days here, a couple of three three nights, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah. And uh, obviously with uh, Trevor and Sue, a couple of days, and we also met up with. They were actually over there, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, they've gone. They've gone. <laughs> we're actually uh, there with um, Keith and Michelle from Carefree Caravanning and Motorhoming. Uh, we're having a nice chat with them uh, before we left. Yeah, we were. Yeah. It's funny, uh, we, when YouTubers meet up, they all talk about YouTube. I know. What do I know why that is then? Yeah, I know how we got into it and all that sort yeah, of thing. So that's right. It, it, we, you know, it always sort of. It's an interesting conversation, it isn't is, it? Because often it? it's the same sort of thing, isn't it? Why, why we do it and how we started our adventures and, and how all we this sort of thing, yeah. yeah how we got yeah. on, you know, yeah, that sort of thing. So no, it was really nice to meet them, a lovely couple. Uh, if you haven't already checked out their channel, there'll be a link up here. Yeah. yeah. So enjo really enjoyed um, Pike Kettleby Lakes as well. Yeah, a couple of nice days out. One at Melton yeah. Mowbray and one on the Steam Gala yesterday. Yeah. So it's gone very quickly yeah but it's a lovely place just if you just want to stay here isn't it yep yeah a lot of us leaving now yeah yeah i didn't really want to leave i was enjoying no, it so much well, no, it's been nice and quiet at night hasn't it yeah lovely and quiet yeah just the odd sort of train you can hear but so you can't really hear any traffic or anything no. There was an event on last night, uh, to be honest, we didn't feel like it. There was the, the Rat Pack, wasn't it? And yeah, uh, Trevor yeah. and Sue went to it, we, we didn't. We... Yeah, so they'll tell you all about it. Yeah, but it sounded like it was good, but very noisy. Yeah. <laughs> and although we didn't hear a lot of it, did no, we? No, we didn't. It was far enough yeah. away. It didn't Sometimes disturb you, us. you can sort of hear these sort of things, but we couldn't really. Uh, no. So where are we going now then? We're off to Teversal. Which I always struggle to know where it's near. I think the nearest place is Mansfield, but or Sutton in Ashfield, something like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mansfield Way, isn't it? Yeah, it's sort of halfway between here and home, isn't it, I guess? It's well it's nearer here than, okay. than home. Alright, it's an hour and a half away. Yeah. Now. So it's on the way back, it's yeah. quite close to the M1, so we're just going to go up there when we go yeah. back. And we'll probably get there as well. It says we'll get there at 12.47, but we might stop over. Might stop, Bite yeah. to eat. It's a one o'clock arrival, and I, I estimated we'd be there about half one. Yeah. It's a camping and caravanning club site. Yeah. And it's one that we went to, oh, how many years ago? It's just after Katie had done a hip and started walking again so it must be 2008 9 yeah and we've not, not been not been back there no no since then so uh, in three quarters of a mile turn left 13607 therefore we never filmed it we never filmed it and it'd be interesting to see how it's developed over the years because it was a new site wasn't it when, yeah it was when a new we site there. when we visited all those years ago yeah, yeah. And we went to Hardwick Hall, which unfortunately at the moment is closed. Yeah. But you famously re videoed me in the original Hardwick Hall, didn't you? Giving a history lesson. <laughs> yeah. With yeah. dark hair. With dark hair? Yeah. You had dark hair. I had dark hair. I, always, I still had, I've always you had white had hair. You still had white hair, yeah. <laughs> no, once upon a time I had blonde hair. <laughs> That's right. I don't think you even had blonde hair then. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so stick that. with us. Yeah, um, so. We're back, going back to the six. In a quarter of a mile, turn left onto a six oh seven. As she says. Yes, yeah, back to the six oh seven. 
because I was in the outside lane there. Yeah, and over the River Trent. No. Oh, yeah. On a chair. Yeah. On your new sofa. Always oh, um, strike me as very sort of flowery, don't they? Uh, those sofas. I think it's because that one your mum had. It was very flowery. Flowers all yeah. over it. Quite industrial around here. Well, this did say it was an industrial estate, yeah. so it's probably why. You reckon? Could be. for Hardwick Hall there. Oh, yeah. In half a mile, turn right onto Chesterfield Road. This is an interesting route. I don't remember it at all, but I do remember it being near a, a housing estate. Yeah. In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Chesterfield Road. Yeah, I don't think you want to go down there, do you? And you can't go down there. <laughs> Seen better days. Yeah, it's busy in there. At the end of the street, turn right. Yeah. Wow. Is that Hardwick Hall over there? Yeah. So I remember being in there and you could see the motorway. Yeah. Tebersall Trail Visitor Centre. I must be getting close now. Yeah. In one mile, turn left onto oh, yeah. Lane. Get the gear in before letting the clutch up. That's always a good plan. A sign for Hardwick Hall there. Yeah. So we did make a video, didn't we? 
went last time. Yep. An epic, wasn't it? <laughs> An epic of wobbliness. <laughs> Remember this. Turn yep. left. Remember the path. Carne Carnavon. God, that is busy in there. I know, wow. the other one was further back. A brief. <laughs> in a quarter of a mile, arrive at Diversal Camping and Caravan Club site on the left. Couldn't get all that out. <laughs> <laughs> Managed it though. Yeah, time. I'm not going to attempt it. It's all camping and caravanning club type. <laughs> door says please remain in your vehicle on arrival. Yeah. Bit of an unusual arrangement. The uh, water taps and a hole in the floor. Okay. And drain down there. Yeah, so collapse pipe should just fit here. Get that down a bit. Yeah. Come on. And get rid of the rubbish. I think we had more pitches before. I think those over there were pitches. Glamping so, pods now, aren't they? So I thought this site was actually up for sale that I saw. Yeah. And it seems to be that the fob we've got says Silver Hill. Yeah, well that's view. the statics over there, isn't it? Yeah and, yeah, and and at the back here. Yeah. I don't remember them. And there's a, a glamping pod type thing over there. Yeah. So there's I had a feeling there was more to it than Yeah, I had a feeling there was as far as touring Caravans and motorhomes go. Yeah, I thought there were more over there, but I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a long time ago. Ten years ago. Yeah. And I think they were building the toilet block when we came. Yeah. I'm not saying this is supposed to be unisex, isn't it? Come on. We've got the uh, thing about wearing a mask in there. Bit interesting. You get a barrier card to get in and out. There is a reception shop. A few bits and pieces. Let's just get rid of this rubbish first. And the bins are here. And this telephone box has actually got a telephone in it. Yeah. 
is all closed off. Shower. Yeah, quite something. There's a family room here as well. That's it. Changing area. Baby bath. And the shower at the back there. Well, that's quite something. will be called Silver Hill Woodland Retreats. Yeah, so it's the 30th of January at the moment as we film, and on the 1st of February this is changing to private ownership. So we're here for the last two days as a camping and caravanning club. So <laughs> it's going to be difficult to know what to call this video. <laughs> we'll have to call it what it is now. Well. People won't be able to find it, will they? No. Now, pups. Dog and toilet shower. A dog and cycle shower, even. All right, OK. <laughs> well, going that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So it won't be Teversal after the 1st of February. So when, when we leave here on the 1st of February then, yeah. all this should have gone then. Yeah, we should have taken that sign down. <laughs> How bizarre. Yeah. Oh. So the video could say, we didn't go to Teversal. <laughs> <laughs> we made it just in time or something yeah, to go to. Yeah, we made it in, just in time to <laughs> Teversal, that's it. That's right. a good one. <laughs> on that bombshell. On that bombshell, we'll go for a little walk. I mean, this is the thing I remember about it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you've got these, uh, these fabulous walks here. So this was Silver Hill Colliery up until 1992. It's 100 and something years. So timeline there. Yeah, it's farmland before that and it was a colliery 1868. So we've got to go up there then, haven't we? That's up there. Yeah. Right, come on then. We'll go to the highest point in Nottinghamshire. Come on. Yeah. I'm trying to keep Tara on the lead because she has a habit of eating this stuff. This stuff, I know. And this one. Come on. It's obviously popular with horses. Woodland was planted in 2000 and on the restored spoil uh, uh, heaps of the Teversal and Silver Hill colliery. Uh, it's, I can't read it, 115 hectares been planted by the Forest Commission. Something like that, quite difficult to read. But we're actually at, oh, get my breath back, we're actually at the highest point in Nottinghamshire. And I think that's Hardwick. That's hard we call over, over there. there.
it's blooming cold out here. Yep, <laughs> nice point in Nottingham. Yeah. We're going back, aren't we? We're going back, yeah. No, only two other people up here. The what? There's only two other people up here now. Yeah, and they were getting in the way of selfies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's always been a franchised site. But, uh, it's just really, they're not renewing the franchise, that's basically it. Uh, so not much should change. From the campsite itself, or just the uniforms will change and the flags will change. I think she said that the price should be the same as well. It's quite open out here. Yeah, so you've got water point here and kid display area. Holiday chalets there. Some glamping pods down the bottom. There's the glamping tents. You've got electric and uh, on our pitch you've got electric and water points. Got little benches here, little picnic areas. I assume this is a tent area here. I've got a tent with electric. Oh, I just kind of on shocks. It's a little bit better, it's not perfect. <clears> the <throat> dogs are settled in. Aren't you, T? Bobby? Go to get that knee coat. Knee coat. <laughs> Sorry for him. It's your favourite toy, isn't it? Hey, the meerkat. The Christmas meerkat, to be precise. Losing his dressing gown, isn't he? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get some facts and figures for you. Yeah, so the site will be called Silver Hill Woodland Retreats. That's what it said on the, the sign in there, and uh, just talking to the uh, site holiday, manager. Ho holiday site manager. Uh, she she works for the owners of the campsite anyway, so the site was always a franchise. And uh, all that's happening is that camping and caravanning club are not renewing the franchise. She said much will stay the same, even the prices. So would you you obviously won't book through the camping and caravanning club. You'll book direct with no, them you, in future. No, you'll need to book directly with Silver Hill. Because I, I did try it, and you can't book after. Yeah. The second. Yeah. That's right, you, you go to www.silverhillwoodlandretreats.co.uk Right. I'll put the yeah. link. Somewhere down uh, there. Somewhere down there. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, all this information on the from the Camping and Caravanning Club, I suppose it will still be correct, but uh, it might it might change. There's just things about the facilities. Facilities are clean between 10.30 and 12.30 chemical disposal points around the back of the building, uh, recycling, security barrier, it only works between 7am and 11pm, don't know if that's going to change. No. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So, like I said, there was a shop here, there's a pub at the end of the road, but yeah. it, you reckon it's not dog friendly? It's not dog friendly, although they say they've got an area outside that's heated for you to have a drink and whatever, Yeah. but uh, yeah, you, you can book online to Go, go and have a meal at the pub. Right. I didn't. I haven't checked out the menus or anything. Okay. I mean, it looks it looked nice. It went past, but very busy today, being Sunday. Yeah. What did look nice was the Hardwick Inn, which is two miles from the site. Turn left and follow the lane. Yeah. A Wood End Inn is a pizza and carver and serves breakfasts. Oh, we passed that. That was yeah. very busy as well. Yeah. Some takeaways. There's a good fish and chip shop. Uh, it gives you instructions to get there. There's a bus service uh, it takes you to Sutton in Ashfield, and that's just outside the pub. It stops just outside the pub. For a more regular bus over to Sutton, Mansfield, Nottingham, walk to the top of Stanton Hill, which is about a mile, it says here, and you can catch the 141 changing Mansfield for a regular bus service to Chesterfield. Uh, there's a carp at the top of the hill past the pub. Saw that, yeah. There's a Morrison's between Sutton and Mansfield. 
And as you can see, there's loads of walking and cycling mm. Mm. just opposite the site and days out, loads of tourist information. We're only here for two nights. How much was it? £45. Right. Yeah. Right. So divide that by two or whatever. I mean, today's Sunday, so maybe yeah. Sunday's yeah. a bit more. No, I paid it. Because you have to pay a deposit always of yeah. at least £25. Right. So I thought I'd pay her the whole lot, so we paid before we came. OK, OK. So they should, like I say, site of the... I did wonder why they were uh, maintaining the pictures if they... <laughs> closing it. If they were, if they were yeah. selling it, but it, like, I was under the impression it was owned by Cameron and Gary. No, I think they they started having a lot of these franchise sites. I can't remember which the other ones were, but I think there there were quite a few of them at this yeah. sort of time when this opened. Right, right. Go on, Loch Ness Shores one. Yes. Yes, yes yeah. it was, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's it for this site. Uh, I, th I thought I'd bring you this site. It's something we wanted to film. And uh, we hadn't been back, like I said, since 2008. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite a nice sight. It yeah. is, yeah. yeah. A little bit of noise from the M1 in the distance, I think. But because yeah, uh, it's the M1, it's constant, constant isn't it? Yeah. 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 I didn't really notice that, but. No. Yeah. So if you found the, the video useful. Mobile uh, signal. Oh, mobile signal. I haven't looked at that. Vodafone is fine because yeah. I'm connected to the router. I, yeah. I don't know about the, oh, the EE. Yeah. I've got two, two, three bars for EE. Right. So that's probably okay yeah. issue, isn't it? Yeah. But the Vodafone's fine. No, no problems with it. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be able to watch the fire stick. TV, I should think, is probably okay. I would have thought. Well, near Mansfield, near, I'm Yeah, near all these towns. Yeah. And, yeah. So that's it. I might, if there is anything else, I might add it on the end of this bit. But uh, that's it for now, and uh, we'll catch up with you on the next one. So yep. see you soon. Yeah. Bye, bye then. then.